What is the truth about ADHD, Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder? The truth is, in my opinion, anyway, it's, it's something that was created by psychiatrists to be a cash cow. Every kid actually has this to some type of degree if you want to really nitpick because it's just the nature of kids. And, you know, one of the new psychiatric disorders out there that they got listed on their books is called creativity. Creativity, believe it or not. Believe it or not. So, you know, i got to tell you, what, in my opinion, there needs to be a cultural revolution and a witch hunt against these psychiatrists, control freaks, and other governmental yo-yos they think they know better for your own kids. Uh, because this has actually gone way, 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 way too far already. And, you know, I'm going to tell you, if you're one of the Christian holy, holy people, and you pass out pills for this, and you enforce this type of stuff, you're going to hell. I'm going to tell you that right now. You're a false Christian. Or you're false whatever your religion is. Because you can't be somebody that's a good person and be doing this. That's absolutely a fact. By nature, kids are kind of like fidgety and they don't have, they have inattention because, you know, they're not being engaged in the subject matter. Sometimes some kids are smarter than other kids. You know, that's another thing. You know, these psychiatrists that pass out these pills and stuff like that, it's, uh, they're not, they're not doing any kind of good except lining their fat pockets and they're nothing more than drug dealers. And if they're Christians and they're doing this, they're not Christians, they're Satanists. And they're hideous Satanists to the max. Um, you know, a lot of times, just if kids have a problem where it's like they're fidgety, they got excess energy. You know what that means? Go play some basketball. Go shoot some hoops. You know? Go play some soccer. Go outside and do things. Maybe they need to have little breaks, you know, when everybody's getting a little fidgety. To kind of like, you know, maybe the Japanese way. Even in the classroom. Do some stretching exercises. Hey, you know, what the hell? You know, get some fresh air. You know, do some deep breathing. Touch your toes. I don't know. Touch your nose with your eyes closed. Whatever. You know, some games like that. Because, you know, a lot of times when kids are fidgety, it's, for, first off, the, the teacher's not really controlling the situation, for one. Number two, um, the teacher's not you know, motivating the class, that's, that's, that's another one. Then another one, sometimes the kid, there's exceptions, and some people just need some discipline, simple discipline, shut up and sit down, or whack, you know, oh, you can't do that, you know, it's like, hey, you know, it's like the old school was better than the new school, hey, where'd you hear that from before, me, hell, you hear that all the time, old school is always better than new school, in this case, it's quite literal, Oh, my God. You know, so sometimes kids, you know, and also there's other kids out there that are smarter than other kids. You know, and then, like, you're, you're like, maybe the teacher's, like, engaging most of the audience in the classroom. And this other kid's saying, I'm way ahead of you, you dumb broad. You know, I know way more than you. You know, this is boring. You know, I already know this stuff. What are you telling me this stuff over and over again? I already know this. So some kids are just smarter. They need to freaking get challenged a little more, you know. So another kid that makes some paper airplanes and shoots them, uh, you know, with a spitball on the end of it, throws it at the back of the teacher's head when they're not looking, you know? So they got ADHD, you know, they don't know how to make planes, you know? Maybe it'll be a fighter pilot someday and bomb misses. You know, what the hell, right? So, but you know, the thing is, they're saying, without treatment, ADH can affect the child's development socially and academically. You know, with treatment, you're screwing those kids up. You're turning them into brain-dead vegetables, and you damn well know it. You know, the thing is, this is what aggravates me the most about women, per se. Because they're the ones that are, you know, it's like you tell them, here's a book. Here's a book. Hey, go study this book. This book is gospel. This book says this. This pill does that. This pill does that. They're totally convinced. And they go in there and like, oh boy, I'm going to pass out pills. This is great. I know it because the book told me so. Do you ever think past the book? Hell no. Hell no. You know? And some guy goes over there, and it's not just kids, you know. Older people get victimized by these pill-pushing yo-yos, too. And they get big bucks for this. Why do they get big bucks for this? Because the freaking crooks on the top are nothing but drug dealers. That's why. This is the truth of ADHD, okay? You know, I don't know, you know, 
it's almost like they got every reason in the world, every excuse in the world to push these drugs because they're very profitable. And, you know, the thing is, they talk cute to you. This is what this pill does, that pill does, and your kid's going to be wonderful and fine if he takes this pill. You're screwing them up. Actually, there's no long-term test on any of this stuff. And you know what? This is really killing the competitive edge of the United States because it's destroying people thinking outside the box. How many kids there were, actually think about it, how many times even some of the most famous people or some of the most on top in the business world type of people actually dropped out of school because they thought it was boring and they just pursued their own career. Boy, if they were forced to freaking take these drugs, they would have been too dumb to freaking pursue their own career. But then there's other people out there that take drugs to enhance their creativity and, en and enhance their their mind and stimulate themselves to even go further than they normally could to you know the endeavor in the whole human experience as they used to kind of talk about back in the 60s and you know and sometimes you know people are just very smart but you know if this this guy Albert Einstein was a kid you know at the time and he was a little fidgety he would have never developed all these equations that's a, that's a fact that's what these yo-yos are doing in the pharmaceutical world because they read a book. Blah, 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 blah. They read a book, this little pill does that. Now, let's get on to little pills because I want to talk about, this is a recent scandal. And, you know, it's all related to this garbage. The FDA, the Drug Enforcement, and, you know, the you know, Federal Drug Authority, the Federal Drug Authority, and uh, the DEA, Drug Enforcement Agency. You know, all this stuff you're paying taxes for. I don't even know why you're paying taxes for it. I don't even know why people are paying taxes. This is bullshit, you know? But, you know, the latest scandal, in case you haven't heard, the Drug Enforcement Agency had drug cartels down, I think, of Colombia that set these guys up with parties and hookers and drugs and were in the governmental offices even with all the laptop computers around and all the secure information while you know and, and that's how they they basically paid them off with hookers and drugs do you believe that this is i don't know if you know about this this is a recent story it's been on the major media it's not one of those uh, buried stories everywhere it actually the major media really picked this up and you know i think about this you know you got law enforcement out there busting somebody for a bag of weed right go to prison for freaking 20 years you got a bag of weed blah 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 blah, blah. and they're doing all the crimes in the world then on the top of it you got the Feral Drug Authority, through their pharmacist, pushing harmful drugs on kids. This is the truth of the matter. And on top of it, you're paying taxes on that. And you got yo-yos out there freaking collecting your taxes and freaking saying, Oh, you got to pay your taxes and blah, 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 blah. For what? This shit? What, are you kidding me? Come on. So, I'm talking about ADHD. But it's almost all related to all the crap that's going on in the United States right now. It's like we got, you know, we don't have a federal government. We got a feral government, you know. Hey, what happened to government of the people, by the people, and for the people like Abe Lincoln said? You know what's going on today? We got government for the government, for the, you know, of the government, and by the government. You know, they're the gods. What the hell is this crap? And you know what? The gods don't have to freaking obey by their own their rules that they push on everybody else. So Einstein would have never been around, you know, if we had we had ADHD way back when, you know. Hey, this kid, I'm smart. You know, I don't have ADHD. I'm smart, okay? That's what the deal is. I'm smart. That's why I get bored with this dumb teacher. This teacher's dumb, okay? I'm smarter than this teacher. She probably took pills. That's probably what's wrong with her, man. Or she probably puts pills in a bottle and she thinks they're the greatest thing in the world. I'm smarter than that. I don't want these dumb pills. Okay? So, um, you know, the truth is about ADHD, it's a scam. All right? It's all it is. It's a lucrative scam and they're not going to give it up. It's got a lot of money in it. Okay? And that's why they're not giving it up. Period. And, you know, even there's, say there's things like this, there's other things out there that people can do with frequencies. Believe it or not. There's bio-tuners, there's uh, music. Music actually can calm people down, or speed people up, all this kind of stuff. I mean, hey, look at marching music. You know, they, they got that, it speeds people up. You got calming violin music, you know. They got music to make you cry, music to make you happy. They could, it could work on ADHD without any funky pills. But you know what? 
that doesn't give them a lot of money, right, lady? Lady pushing your pills, right? 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 Pushing on the elderly, pushing on the young people, whatever, you know? That's exactly what you do. You're a drug dealer. But no, you are protected by the Federal Drug Authority. You're protected by the Drug Enforcement Agency. You're protected by what? You know, the IRS collects taxes so you can freaking have your freaking fat paycheck. Blah, blah, blah. Indirectly, you know what I mean? Because the IRS money goes to the Federal Drug Authority. Ha, ha, ha. Right? It's all a racket. They're all working together. Well, what about RICO for the people? RICO for the people. You know, in other words, if one of those government agencies or government yo-yos is guilty, hey, they're all guilty. It's a conspiracy against the people. How's that? You know? So anyway, this is message is brought to you by the Anti-Coalition for ADHD Snake Oil Freaking Drugs. I don't know. There is no such thing. I just made that up. But hey, you know, too creative. I don't know. Sorry. You know? And actually, you know, I don't rehearse these stupid videos. I just get on here and I just talk. But I'm going to tell you, whatever I said on this thing, it's true. All right? You know, a kid, you know, if a kid is fidgety and they're bored in a class, you know, maybe, you know, maybe they're going to be playing a lot of basketball. I don't know. Play soccer. Or maybe they're more mechanically inclined. You know, maybe they're going to give him some wrenches, you know. Give him a blowtorch, you know. Have him weld the door shut on the classroom was a joke. Ha, 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 teacher. I locked you in the bathroom. I welded the door shut. You stay in there till you figure it out. Ha, <laughs> that'd be fun, you know. Hey, kid, good job. I pat him on the back for that shit. Just put some spot wells on it. I'll only leave him in there for about a week, you know. So when I don't die, I get some water. Anyway, uh, you know, so, you know, beware of all this shit because it's getting worse. The next thing, you got Bill Gates passing out his vaccines. Oh, you wonderful freaking four-eyed piece of shit, you know. Hey, thanks for the software. I never freaking pay for it, you know what I mean? Ha, 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 Bill. Yo, yo. Anyway. <laughs> I should put that on on here. I don't give a shit because I really can't stand that Microsoft, that Microshaft. Anyway, baby, you know, Microshaft wants to shaft you with vice vaccines now. I mean, they're all working together, man. It's a vast conspiracy. And you can tell this isn't the Alex Jones show or nothing because I'm having fun on here when I'm doing it. I'm not trying to scare people. Hey, you're getting a little more of a... Uh, a hodgepodge of whatever kind of entertainment mixed in with the freaking rant, you know. But it's not really a rant. I'm telling this truth, man. You wake up to the fact that these people pushing these funny little pills, they got a financial interest in it, you know. Hey, look. Hey, this is my job, man. I make a lot of money doing this shit. Hey, buy these pills. for. Oh, does your insurance pay for it? You want more? Hi. Ooh. Lady, you're a piece of shit. Okay. Huh. <laughs> You know, and they probably think they're good because they read it in the book. This is the right thing to do. No, it ain't. No, it ain't, lady. No, it ain't. So anyway, you know, if you read it in a book, i got to write some books, you know. I really, that's what I need to do, you know. <laughs> Actually, if they had a Salem witch hunt today, they should take all these freaking people in the medical field and uh, they're the witches. <laughs> that's what's going on. You know, but uh, the problem is, uh, you know, they're not using plain common sense. And plain common sense is what's been around for, what, thousands of years? I mean, I actually use the word plain common sense, you know, the expression, the phrase. But obviously, you know, if the kid's too smart for the class, he needs to be engaged in a constructive way so he can use his talents. If somebody's stupid, they need to freaking, they need extra help, they need extra attention. But you know what makes them stupid is these funky little pills, right? Einstein would have never been around. This girl would have never been smart, you know? Einstein would have been an idiot if he grew up in today's day and age. You never would have had all the great inventions, whatever this guy did, you know? I mean, blew up the world with the atom bomb or whatever else he did, right? E equals MC squared, and I, I, I is a rock. What the hell did he write down here? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> you know... A drug enforcement agency, too. I mean, you know, it's a bunch of hypocrites. That's what's going on. You got hypocrites in the government. You got hypocrites in the medical field. You got, oh, psychiatric field. You're total hypocrites and control freaks, and they smile in your face. Ha, 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 ha. You know, yeah, I'm trying to help everybody. Sure you are, man. Sure you are. Sure you are, man. Go do it for free. <laughs> Don't 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 go do it for a million dollars a year or whatever the hell you freaking charge three hundred dollars and three hundred dollars an hour. Hey, you know anybody can listen to me anyway for what you know nothing. <laughs> you listen to a psychiatrist or actually you do the talking to them. What do they do? 
I never been to those yo-yos, but I know enough about them that I looked at their code manual. Creativity is now a psychiatric disorder. Actually, now a new thing is where if you have a fear of bad foods and you always want to have good foods, that's another psychiatric disorder. So you must have drugs for that. Enforced by what? Law enforcement. <laughs> right? We're going to have Obama freaking medical care, the government care. You must have your vaccine. Hey, man. And well, meanwhile, the hypocrites, which includes the Christians, because if you're a Christian and you work for the DEA and you work for the uh, FDA or you're pharmaceutical or you work for the IRS, you ain't a Christian, man. You're burning out. That's all there is to it. I don't give a damn if you say you saved. You know, I don't give a damn, all right? And, you know, the stuff, you know, this all came to the forefront recently with the DEA and the hookers from the uh, Colombian drug cartels because, you know, the major media finally put it up there. But, you know, it's been going on for freaking ever since day one. I mean, it's this is not even like the tip of the tip of the tip of the iceberg. I mean, that's really what's going on in this freaking agency. They got all kinds of crap going on. They do whatever they want within the agencies and all these agencies. They're a load of shit. You know, that's all they do. I mean, you talk about even the IRS. What the hell do they do all the freaking day? You know, their big game is to freaking just stomp on people. You know, stomp them back, stomp them back. And, you know, the weasels that freaking actually directly or indirectly work for the IRS, they're just as bad as these pharmaceutical yo-yos. But, you know, them collecting this money from us is actually what's enforcing all this shit against us, against our own free will. Is this government of the people, by the people, or for the people, as Abe Lincoln says? No. You know, there was slavery in the United States before 18... You know, I mean, it depends on what year you want to say. You know, Lincoln abolished it during the Civil War in the states that broke away. But whatever. You know, we know it was definitely in the United States before the Civil War, right? But the, uh, the thing is, now we're all slaves. You know, Indians, the Indians said, you know, about... You know, they got put on reservations. Now we're all on a reservation, right? We're all on a reservation, indirectly or one way or the other. And we got these cute-talking yo-yos, four-eyed bitches like Bill Gates, blowing smoke up our kazoos, telling us about how he's going to save the world with vaccines. Yeah, tell me another one, you asshole. You know what? <laughs> Anybody that makes that... Hey. Don't pay for his software. I gotta tell you that right now. Microsoft shaft him back. But anyway, save your kids while you can. You know, I don't know. Move out to the freaking Ozarks where there is no school. You know, teach them how to hunt and fish, shoot a gun, and grow crops, and uh, use a welder and weld that teacher in the bathroom for a couple days. Uh, that'll teach him really good. So be creative, and uh, you're gonna have to think outside the box if you're gonna get away from this. Global reservation that's coming down upon us. ADHD is a pile of freaking crap that was made up by pharmaceutical, the drug, the drug agency, the federal, the federal drug agency, and uh, you know, good things like marijuana oil and uh, medicinal marijuana. Oh, they're illegal. The drug enforcement agency will be down on you while well, they're doing all the shit they're not supposed to do. Because the drug cartels in Colombia said, hey, we'll hook you up. Look the other way, right? These guys are all a load of shit. And you know what? There's loads of freaking holy, holy, holy Christians mixed in there with their... I don't call them... I don't want to knock Christians. What I'm talking about is, you know how, you know how many fake ones out are out there? A lot. A lot. Loads of them, you know? Hey, man. You're going to walk with Christ. You might have to walk alone sometimes. You know what I mean? You don't go with the crowd.